Hey guys, Miss Dragon here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So, first thing we're gonna do today is take care of the Venatori in the Hinterlands. And apparently, there's I keep forgetting there's a cave with there's a cave with a um treasure in it. I don't know where it is. I have to look. I have to go see if I can find that map piece again. Okay, so, uh, map of farmland, farmland cave. So, from, I'm assuming, Master Dennett's house? And behind, probably one of the ones we've been to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you, what do you want? Dispatch for you. Yeah, what, what do you got? What is it? You may want to look into this. Okay. Whatever, we'll look into it later. Um, so, we have to go probably up here, right? There's that. It should be up in, up in there. So, from Master Dennett's house, I just want to talk to his wife. I've put out the call to the farmers. I appreciate you driving those wolves away. Oh, okay, I guess she has nothing to say. So from here, we're just going to jump the fence. We need to climb up to a cave. And there should be treasure in that cave. Unless, like I said, we already found it. But I have no idea. Let's see if we can climb up here. Oh, hello, bear. Okay. <laughs> and then we go this way. And keep going up. Maybe? Where am I? Uh, so maybe it is this cave. Pretty sure I still don't have Felindaris. But I don't know. Yeah, we still don't have Felindaris. The gift get that in the exalted mark or um exalted plains. Uh no, Emerald Grove. Emerald Grove? That was quite the noise. <laughs> um but I'm not sure. Also I'm just killing everything for some reason. Oh there we go. I was like, I know there's a guy around here somewhere. He's way the heck over there. So now that I've just um murdered a bunch of animals. For no reason. Though I guess fennec fur is used in crafting. So, I mean. Oh, here Let's we go. <laughs> so, it is this cave. Okay. Right here. Amulet of Aggression. Cool. So now, we have to go all the way over here. <laughs> so, let's head over that way. Alright, so we're coming up to the spot. Ah, here we go. We have a nice little camp here. We are gonna take out this mage first. If I could target him. Because they are the worst. And they need to be taken out right away. He's still alive. Okay. Oops. So yes, this will give us much approval with Dorian. And it's just another completed quest. 
Um, so there's one more in the Hinterlands. And then, so we have to go down here. And then we have to go to um, the Exalted Plains, I think. And they're kind of like way up in the Exalted Plains. So that one's a bit more annoying to get to early game. But we'll get there. I took a wrong turn and I ended up taking the long way up, but that's fine. <laughs> we found them, so. Okay. So that's the two down. We will not be doing... What is this? Embryum? We won't be doing the third one right away, just because I will show you exactly where we need to go, and it's kind of a pain to get to. So... Over here. <laughs> um, we've only explored over here, so we're not going to do that. What we're going to do today... So I think we should go back to Skyhold and do some operations, and then we're going to go to Val Royale and do Josephine's quest. It seems like a good enough idea. And then I thought we'd do the Storm Coast, but I think we'll not do the Storm, Storm Coast yet. I think we're going to leave that for later. Maybe we'll go to Crestwood. Or the, um, Exalted. Maybe we'll go back to the Exalted Plains. I don't know. I don't know yet. Alright, so we have some operations to complete. Celebrate the dragon slaying. Such sheen to her scales. A beauty indeed. Your gift will allow my imagination to take flight. Oh, such things I have dreamed of crafting for so long. In return, Heron will send all my collected notes. A bit scattered, perhaps, but maybe your own smiths will find them of use. Wade. Superb amulet of willpower. Strike a bargain with merchant princes. A bundle of documents at least 50 pages thick explains the trade agreement the Inquisition has entered into with the merchant princes of Antiva. Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor. I am more than satisfied with the agreement we've reached with the merchant princes. Here's a duplicate if you wish to review it. I would put aside three days and two dozen candles. Ambassador Montelier. Yeah, we're not going to read that. And an offer from the Blades of Assyrian, your worship, may this serve you as it has us. Ivor of the Blades, Griffin Mail. Thank you, sir. So let's do the search for the Hack Rider. Ruffles, first off, you play a mean hand of Wicked Grace. Second, the lead you dug up for me on finding this um, Belen Forth guy in Kirkwall is starting to show some promise. I got my editor to look around for me. She's a coterie boss, so people tell her things whether they want to or not. She tracked down the poor sod carrying the manuscripts out of Kirkwall. This is where it gets weird. The courier is a magistrate, Lord Werner Camring. The coterie won't touch him with a ten-foot pole. Maybe you could have a polite word with him. For me. Varric. I'm owed a few favors in Viscount's office. I could call one in. A magistrate courier. He has to be involved in something else. Let's find out what. And I have a friend in the Kirkwall Guard. She might be willing to talk to this magistrate. Uh, let's send... Should we send Liliana? We'll send Liliana. Let's see what we have. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> Answer a request from Hasmal. Commander Cullen, I understand the Inquisition is working with Redcliffe's mages. I'm surprised someone from Kirkwall would condone any arrangement with them. But it does put you in a position to aid us. Hasmal's circle sustained significant damage during the uprisings. Rather than follow the Lord Seeker, many of our Templars elected to remain and deal with the aftermath. But our resources are limited. Furthermore, we have loyalist mages with us. Hasmal's people would happily throw them to the wolves, even though they had nothing to do with the rebellion. As it stands, I fear we may fall, fail in our duty to protect them. I trust you sympathize with our predicament. I humbly request our charges be transferred to the Inquisition. Knight Commander Bryson. 
We have a few Templars of our own. Hosmal's Templars will be comfortable working with them. They can ensure safe passage for the mages. We can arrange safe passage from Hosmal and let the city's leaders believe they owe us a favor. Let's do Cullen. Inquisitor. And then now I just need one for Josephine. So what is power for a price? A formal document with impeccable filigree. It is time. The Inquisitor commands a small kingdom. It is time to exercise the weight of her influence. There remain uninvolved and uncommitted lords and ladies, bands and arles, where they could not be engaged with plight or passion. They can be compelled through mercenary means, but there must be a display. Make it known that the Inquisition has weight and the boons and the despair dispensations of the powerful will be open to you thereafter she need not curry influence she can simply buy it the esteemed ferris the representative a fet of your own to display the allied and powerful what does that mean do not display we will show your reach by simply being where it is most beneficial a grand march where I should show weight, show the legion that you command. I guess we'll just send Josephine. I, I have no idea. I may have made a mistake. I have no clue. But that's fine. Alright, so let's head off to Valroy O. We are going to teleport to this side because we need to be over here. Uh, I don't think it matters who we take. So we're going to take Varric. I guess we'll take Blackwall. And Solus. Alright, so if we head Those who this way, shall know the wrath of heaven. And I think there's a new sh yes. There's a new shop open. Clear, I... So, this is... Obviously you can buy some stuff. Um, so what we can buy here is stuff for our first guy hold. So it's just um, cosmetics, basically. We're not going to grab anything today, so we're just going to move on to, the people of Haven to safety um, the Good show. You are mad. That guy just barely adequate. die? Uh, oh, what just happened? <laughs> I have no idea, let's go find Josephine. A pleasure. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Let's go see Comte Boisvert. Lead the way. However you say that. Boisvert? Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. This seems dangerous for you. I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Belroyo. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messengers seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. A contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montilly's trading exile in Orlais. Well, shit. Who signed that? Who's sending these assassins? The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montilliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. 
But the contract's ancient. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. By its standards. I'll help stop them. I'll do what I can to stop these attacks, Josephine. Thank you, Inquisitor. I think I may know how. The two Paraquets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a du Paraquet could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montigny. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? <laughs> you are exceedingly well informed. They're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all, eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. Was there ever a comp? Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. An end to be tied up later. I knew this was too convenient. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor, just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. Thanks. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why the warning? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? You can leave. Go then. Good day, your worship. My lady, I pray we'd never meet again. <laughs> Indeed. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. As you wish. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? <laughs> the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Mm. A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. Mm. <laughs> uh, that part's always funny. So, I don't think there's anything else here, so we can just leave. And head back to Skyhold, where, where, where we will have a chat with Josephine But what to do next. Okay, Josephine, let's chat. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You had no idea. You couldn't have known it would lead to this house of repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux? 
Let me consider it. Give me some time to think this over. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. So we have two options here. We can do the operation where Liliana sends an agent to destroy the contract. Or we can just follow whatever Josephine wants to do. Um, since all... I'm pretty sure Liliana's tied up in an operation right now. So we're just gonna do Any the news long on the route. Because why not? Hi, um... How do peasants become nobles? How exactly does one turn farmers into members of the upper classes? There are procedures for granting honored citizens of the Empire the title of Lord or Lady. Very long procedures. And so much paperwork. I've called in a substantial number of favors just to cut through half of it. <laughs> Tell me of the Duparakets. Why did the Duparakets hate the Montilliers so much they set up a permanent assassination watch? A Montillier and a Duparaket fell in love. A young couple, pledged elsewhere, attempted to elope. The whole thing ended so violently, it's a wonder any survived. It's fortunate the Duparaket's descendants hold no grudges. How do you know that? What if the Duparaket's refuse to aid you? I've already contacted the Duparaket's Inquisitor. They're ready to help us. It will be a long road, but a lordship is a chance to restore a proud lineage to their heirs. Besides, I've promised them a heavy bag of coin once this is over. <laughs> And can the contract be annulled? Are you sure the House of Repose will forget this assassin contract on a farmer's signature? It's perfectly legal. In Valroyo's noble circles, a written word is a bond. Besides, the guild would never risk being so unspeakably crass. Are you serious? These assassins are afraid of being seen as impolite. Breaking one's public oath or bond implies a certain poverty. A common merchant may lack the resources or manners to fulfill a debt, but among the guilds, it would be shameful. All right, what's our next move? You said I'd have to do some favors in Valorio if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparakets as lords. Okay, go to the war table and find a spot. I don't know if I have any oper anyone open. <laughs> I think they're all doing long operations. We might not be able to continue that this this time. Because I know one of them's doing like an hour 20 operation. Okay, well this one's done. Commander Cullen, your men arrived this morning. It's good to see the Inquisition still trust Templars to perform their duties. Once we ensure that Hasmal's circle is stable and that no dangerous items fall into the hands of unsuspecting scavengers, we will join you ourselves. Knight Commander Bryson. Perfect. So now... Oh. So we can find a sponsor. Okay. Making the Du Paraquette's nobility is the key to stopping the assassination plot on Josephine's life. The first step is gaining them a noble sponsor. Countess Dion is willing to help in exchange of news about her lover, Ellerly, a mage who went missing after the Mage Templar War erupted. So Cullen says it's been a while, but we can have search parties come the area where he was last spotted. Otherwise, their love affair was hardly secret. We'll see if anyone marked where this missing mage went, and Ellerly stood for the old circle order. I will see if any of the loyalists gave him shelter. Well, we can just throw Cullen in there, wait 17 minutes doing something else, and come back, I guess. So we'll just All right. do that. Hopefully that was a good choice. What we're going to do... scouts report no signs of danger in the pass nearby. What is this? I will arrange patrols to ensure it stays that way. What is what is this? This is a this 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 is a glitch. <laughs> um, anywho, we are going to go do something. 
What? I have I have no idea. Maybe we'll go do some of the Dalish quests in the Exalted Plains. I think we'll do that. Sounds like a good idea while we wait. So if we go scattered glyphs, they're ancient elven glyphs scattered across the plains that appear to be pieces of a greater message. Well, we can go to the Dalish camp here. We will take Merrick. We also take Blackwall and Solus. And we'll just work some quests. I don't know if we'll finish the Josephine one this video. We'll see. We shall see. We never did get all the great bear furs, did we? No, we didn't. Oh well, whatever. Well, let's go find some glyphs, because that's the one I have uh, selected. Since, I mean, we have to go here, so. See if we can find some glyphs. We'll probably find the golden hala. Um, on the way. I have no idea where these glyphs are. So, yeah. We'll collect some resources. Oh, wait, ancient baths. How do I get in those? I want to go in there. Ah, here we go. We need to go in here. There's a glyph in here. I just need to find some veil fire. There we go. I think there's a rift in here too. Oh. Hi. Um. Okay. This back up. this back up. Thank you. I guess we'll grab some resources while we're here. We have obsidian. Is there anything on this side? Nothing noticeable. Some loot here. Something here to read. The elven glyphs do... I'm... We're searching the runes. So we heard August, August, August. Uh, boys are digging in the stones at Helen something. I hate these elf names, Pascal. Yeah, sometimes they're um hard to pronounce. Bash this wall in. Thank you. Hang on. <laughs> That's an interesting drawing. What could it mean? Hmm? Uh, is this not a glyph? I thought this was a glyph. I guess it's not. Okay, well, fine then. <laughs> then I don't know where this glyph is. Um, you guys can go attack the rift if you like. I'm gonna just have a look-see around for a glyph. That's probably over by the rift. Because why not? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. Ancient elven glyphs. The revealed symbols depict a pair of hands cupped around the moon. A rage demon with fire. This, no. <laughs> it doesn't really work very well. I mean, it's fine. It works. But, yeah. Where the heck? What is happening? Okay. 
Okay. I don't know where the enemy is, but I think everyone killed it, so it's fine. myself here. Um, hello. Can I help you? So, the rage demon is almost dead. There it is. So now we just gotta get rid of these terrors. Um, yeah, hi. Oh, okay, there we go. There is a rift closed. Alright, so now let's collect some stuff. And see if there's anything interesting. Huh. Alright, we got a mosaic. And some stuff to loot. A gold horn. I think that's just something to sell, so. Okay. So we're just gonna have a peek on this side, and then we will continue back. Okay, it's just that. Cool. Let's head, um, head out of here. And keep, I guess we'll keep looking for glyphs. Um, we'll probably <laughs> do some other stuff on the way. There is lots to do for our Dalish friends. So we're gonna head out this way. I'm gonna avoid harming any Hala for right now. Oh, it's just some of that. Just ignore that. Head this way. So there's a grave up ahead here where we have to do a quest. Um, I think it's the, yeah, right this way. So an important thing to note when you're doing this quest is that you do not loot the graves while the quest is active. Uh, I gotta clean this. Once you've completed the quest, and I would say once you've completed all the um, like getting favor with the Dalish, then you can go through. And loot the graves, because if you loot the graves, you'll upset the Dalish. And that's not good if you're trying to get favor with them. So, Var Bellinaris. Var Bellinaris, our eternity. Where hundreds of our ancestors are buried. Where those of us who can still lay our kin to rest. Although this land now belongs to Orle, the Shemlin have never reclaimed it. Perhaps their guilty conscience stops them. <laughs> Or perhaps those uncomplimentary tales of elven curses and vengeful spirits have some use after all. Keeper Gishrel of the Ralepharon clan. Okay. A Dalish burial ground. They don't burn, they're dead. So there's an old Dalish burial site in the plains. I'm just going to activate this one. Um, known as Var Bellinaris, spells protecting, bleh, spells protecting the dead there have been broken, attracting demons, cleansing the grounds, the demons would gain favor from the Dalish. So, let's kill some demons. Have fun. Fine. 
Okay. Oh, I guess we did it. Okay, we're good now. Uh, except... Do I want to open this door? Uh, we're gonna come back and do this stuff. Like, looting and, and stuff. We're just, we're gonna come back later. After we've finished gaining favor with the, El the Dalish and, uh gotten our agent just to be on the safe side okay so now we're gonna go find the golden hala which should be wandering around somewhere where i cannot tell you because i have no idea uh i think oh here we go should just be right here so now we have to herd the hala So this is fun. Oh. Do not kill the Hala. <laughs> it is very easily to accidentally kill. Okay. Now then, where did it go? It's up here. So we just need to spook it. It's okay. What? <laughs> uh, there it is. Just keep on sending it that way. It's so basically it just chase it. I don't know. <laughs> There's really not. As far as I'm aware, there's no trick to this. You just follow it. So. Without killing it, of course. So we're gonna ignore. Well, I'm gonna ignore these guys. And just keep following the hala. Because we're just about to the camp, anyways. Um, except for it's going to the rift, so that's kind of an issue. Go. No, no. Don't. Go, go that way. There you go. There. Go that way. No, don't go that way. Go... No, no, no. Go. There you go. Good. No, no, no. Come on. No, don't go that way. There we go. Go that way. <laughs> oh. Wait. Where'd it go? Oh. oh okay. There it is. We're good. <laughs> Is it good? I think we're good. <laughs> okay. Okay, hi, I brought you your golden hala. Look, already she makes herself known to the others. She knows she's meant to be here. Indeed. Thank you, Lethalan. I will never be able to express my gratitude. You're very welcome. Let's talk to the keeper. I'm going too far. Hi. Harold, yes. you're at home. The demons are gone. I've destroyed the demons on your sacred ground. You were successful. You've put an old man's heart at ease. Thank you. You're welcome. You've done us a great kindness. Perfect. Now, we need to go over here to do this glyph. Um, I'm just gonna check something. Okay, so we're gonna go here, and then we have to find Valoran. This one. I gotta find bears. I don't... I need bear pelts. I need three of them. But I don't know where to find bears. <laughs> of all things. So, I need to go this way. Colin is ready to report in. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this glyph one here. And then maybe we'll go back and 
to check in with Cullen, and then <laughs> we can continue Josephine's and hopefully finish it, and I'm stuck on something. And I guess I'll close this rift, because I'm right here. And I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, hey, I am, like, dead, actually. <laughs> I was very much not paying attention to what I was doing, clearly. Are we good? I think we're good. You remind me of someone. Pious bastard. Wore blinding white armor. Told me my shots veered left. I can see how that describes me perfectly. Yeah, it was just all that niceness. He was just so nice. Nice. Right. I take it you didn't like this person. Sebastian would have taken that as a compliment. <laughs> yep. I knew he was talking about Sebastian. It's funny. Okay. Now I have to figure out where these glyphs are. And I have no idea. So that should be fun. But it looks like... Oh, hey, what's this? I should probably grab this since I'm here. Come on. Um... Some stuff, we'll just take it all. What's this? Alright, love letter. Roses are red, pansies are yellow. How are you doing away from your fellow? Dear Valerie, I wrote that for you. I hope you like it. I'm deep in the usurper's territory, but I've kept out of sight. One of my many talents. It's been hard, but the thought of you keeps me alive. I'll be home as soon as our empress wins the day. Missing you, Eldane. P.S. I know pansies aren't always yellow. I couldn't think of any other yellow flowers. All right. So I guess if we make our way up this way. And in here? Maybe? Okay. Shrine to Sil Silas? Silas? Okay, those guys are done. Um, see what we can loot. The Elven Glyphs. Pasco. Uh, August is on the trail of some Elven mystery. If what I've heard is true, I don't want that pompous arse getting his hands on it. Think he's smug now? He's searching for ruins. I know at least two. The ancient bass and the ruin in Enaverus. You know the one. Remember the mead? Get going. I'll send a men messenger if I hear more. Do hide. So, here, here we go. Ancient elven glyphs. The revealed symbols show a hawk and a hare chasing the sun. So now we just have one left. 
somewhere. Somewhere over there, I guess. Um, we may as well do this. There we go. Good enough. Ancient elven robes, Linderane's talisman, and ring of doubt. Interesting. Alrighty, so we're actually going to go back to Skyhold now and complete the operation for Josephine's quest. Oh, looks like we have some perks. Okay, well I guess I'll find something to grab. Alright, I guess we're just gonna grab Underworld Knowledge for now. I don't know why, I just... whatever. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Letter to Countess Dion. My dearest Lynette, I was injured on the way back from the Conclave when this insane war erupted between the Apostates and the Templars. I made it to a decrepit inn just before the gash on my leg turned into a fever. Fortunately, when the Inquisition's people found me, they sent for a proper healer. I owe them my life, I'm certain. I'm told the Inquisition will deliver this letter to you, which is the first peace of mind I've had since the Conclave. Stay in the capital, my love, until I can come to you. Yours always, Ellerly. Okay. Um, let's... I guess put Colin into something? Hey, what's this? Oh. Nightingale. Cameron is dead. Fully armored, locked in an inner room in his home, a knife in his back. He knew someone was coming for him. Ironically, the scene was exactly the same as one in the first Hard and Hightown novel. Someone sent a professional after this magistrate. They had to leave a trail, Cooper. Hard and Hightown Unsavory Parallels has been unlocked. A copy of Hard and Hightown sits open on the table. Jevelyn was waiting outside the captain's office when Don and Bernakovic slunk out defeated we're not getting a warrant are we jevelyn looked almost relieved no donnan met his partner's eyes the kid was barely 20 and looked like we'd we've read this before we have read this maybe it's for the best donnan glared at the kid jevelyn stood a little straighter what do we do then the captain wants proof leilana has written a note in the margin the dead magistrate attempt to implicate Varric. why and in what if an assassin killed the magistrate, a word to the crows might tell us who it was. They watch rivals carefully. Otherwise, we can support the guard. We'll just do this. Inquisitor. <laughs> so now we have to send Cullen somewhere. Reports on darkspawn activity. There are reports of darkspawn activity on the storm coast. While the area is sparsely populated, the darkspawn pose a significant threat to travelers as well as to the Inquisition soldiers stationed on the coast. Should the darkspawn branch away from the region, villagers further inland may be at risk. Alright, so this is gonna open up a quest, I think. The Darkspawn are emerging from the underground. Our soldiers can sweep the area to determine where they're most concentrated. All right. Perfect. Let's go talk to Josephine. Just kidding, we have to go to Valroyo and talk to the Countess, or whatever her name is. Whatever she is. We have to go here. Uh, work. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know what that was about. Disaster is what it is, and you know it. There's one of the only houses. More men Hello. You are an unexpected I. I apologize, sire. You must have too many people you. talking. And what did they Might need? There be any news Nothing unsavory, I hope. Your lover is safe. About Here's a letter from Ellery. He's John. safe with his family in Rather the dales. Oh, Dawn. my Ellery. Oh, bless you. <laughs> the Dions will sponsor the Duparakets as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now, please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Ellery's words. Make her keep you. Perfect. Return to Skyhold and speak with Josephine. Guess we'll go to Skyhold. Right, Joseph. What happened here? Bean. The House of Repose decided to pay a visit. The guards arrived in time, but I should have guessed the assassins would infiltrate the servants. Are you all right, Josephine? Are you sure they didn't hurt you? Well, they only frightened me. 
It was all so sudden. Leliana assigned people to shadow me. They appear to have saved my life. Good thing. I owe you everything, Sergeant. Only my duty, Ambassador. I'll talk with the spy master about these murderous louts. She'll find how they got in. Okay. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Um. Yes. What's our next move? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakats a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Okay. Um, I guess we have to go back to the war table. But I think we'll do that next time. Because <laughs> I'm going to leave this video here, guys. So, next time we'll continue on with Josephine's quest. And, uh... Probably some other stuff, who knows? But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!